أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us another opportunity to gather on this auspicious day of Yawm al Today's lecture at Masjid al haq will be given by Sheikh Abdul Aziz Sheikh who is an acclaimed conductor of halkas both locally and internationally. He is a writer as well as a speaker on various Islamic topics. And the topic for today is entitled Who Stood with Palestine and the Muslim Ummah Globally? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah al-lazi hadana wa ma kunna li nahtadi lawla hadana Allah. Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah sayyidina Muhammad abdullah. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man walahu Allah Amma baad Awudu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Allahu waliyu allazina amanu Yukhrijuhum min al-zulumati ila al-nur Wallazina kafadu اولیاؤہم التاغود یخرجونہم من النور الى الظلمات اولائک اصحاب النار ان فی اخالدون صدق اللہ علیہ وسلم قال اللہ تعالیٰ فی شان حبیبہ ان اللہ و ملائکتہ یسلون علی النبی یا ایو اللہ جن آمنو صلو علیہ وسلم و تسلیم صلو علیہ وسلم و بارک علی محمد Brother Yusuf has told you what the subject of discussion is today. I have decided to recite to you chapter 2 verse 257. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this verse, Allahu waliyul lazina amanu. Allah is your wali. Allah is your protector. Allah is your provider for those who believe. Amen. And what he does? Yukhrijuhum mina zulumati ila nur. Allah takes you out of darkness, of arrogance, of ignorance towards enlightenment, towards light. Mina zulumat ila nur. And وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا أُولِيَاؤُهُمُ الْتَاغُودِ And those who follow the Taghud, those who follow the Shaitan, those who follow the rejecters of the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what do they do? يُخْرِجُونَهُمْ مِنَ النُّورِ إِلَى الظُّلُمَانِ They take you out of the light out of the nur of Allah, out of the guidance of Allah towards darkness. <coughs> in the zulumat. Who are they? Ulaika ashabun nar. They are the companions of the fire. They are the companions of ignorance. They are the companions who take us towards hardship. And whom fear Khalidun, and they will remain in there forever. It is important for us to understand who are the Tawud. This word Tawud and its derivation appears 39 times in the Quran. We read it and we have this general understanding that those who do wrong. Tawud according to the Quran are those people who follow false deities. Allah says in a verse before 257 that so whoever rejects false gods and believes in Allah 
has taken a grasp of a firm link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The other meanings in the Quran about Tawud, those who have evil power, those who follow the shaitan, the devil, those who follow magic, those who follow enchanters, those who bluff you, and those who follow leaders who do not follow the law of Allah but make their own laws, even though they call themselves Muslims. And then Allah says in chapter 4 verse 60, they desire to seek arbitration <coughs> from false gods. Now if you see what is going on among in the Muslim world, who are our people following? They follow the arbitration of false gods or leaders or disbelievers when they were ordered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala against it. Basically the meaning of Tawud is those who replace the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with their own laws so they can exploit mankind. You know, a couple of weeks ago, Sheikh Al Mahmoud Al Husnad made a khutbah. He's a Palestinian Sheikh. He made a very short khutbah. And he said in his khutbah, when 35,000 martyrs, 70,000 injured, 2 million homeless, and I can add now what is happening these today in Rafah, the Philistines couldn't wake up the Ummah. So what will the impact of my words have? All the Ummah is interested in, hear the Sheikh saying in Palestine, what they are interested in is straighten your roads. Huh? When we stand for Salah, we insist that we must straighten our roads. I agree with you. But my understanding is slightly different. Straighten your roads towards Jahannam. This is what is happening. The word Tawud, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasizes in the Quran that we follow those people who follow the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They can be non-Muslims. Right? And, and, and the subject of discussion is who are the people who are helping us? You know, a couple of weeks ago a young man was in, in Palestine was asked why is your Allah not coming to help you? <laughs> you know, he recited chapter 47 verse 4 and I'll recite just the translation. When you meet the unbelievers, Allah says, smite them in the necks, fight them, right? If they are fighting you, do not let them get away at length. When you have thoroughly subdued them, bind a bond between them so that they don't do it again. Thereafter is the time for, for the either generosity or ransom until the war lays down its burden, until it come down, they stop fighting you. And then this brother, what he says, but if it has been for Allah to come and help us directly, if it was his will, he would have certainly have extracted retribution from them, that's from the enemy. But 
He lets you fight in order to test you. The question is, Allah is testing us, some with others. But those who are slain in the way of Allah, He will never let their deeds be lost. The question we should be asking is, are we winning the test? Or are we failing? Allah is testing us. The question we need to see is how many of our Muslim countries are helping the Philistine, the, pe the people of Palestine. How many? My brothers and sisters, if we look at in South Africa, there is a move to bring about the Zionists to come to South Africa and to live in South Africa, to take over Cape Town. I'm not going to mention names of the party that is doing that. You know. You will find out for yourself. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us a choice in the Quran. We have a choice to follow what is right or to follow what is wrong. One group of people have taken the trouble to side with the Palestinians and to take the enemies of Palestine to the ICJ. None of the Arab and the Turkish Muslim countries have done anything whilst our people have been bombed and massacred daily both in Gaza, in the West Bank and now in Rafa. At this time we are duty bound to support that organization that helped our brothers and sisters. We have to find out who they are. We may not like them for many things. They may be doing a lot of wrong things. But we have to make sure that we support those people who support us. <coughs> and if we do not do that, then we will pay the price in time to come. One of the meanings of this word Tahud is to exceed those who exceed the limits. And the example given in the Quran is when the water of the rivers, the water of the sea, exceeds the limits, right? And we end up having floods and we end up having tsunamis. And recently we know what happened. Right? As far as the floods are concerned. I know my time is up, but I want to make one statement. In a month's time, the, the season of Hajj will start. And many of us will be preparing to go for Hajj. Whether it is right or wrong to go for Hajj under these circumstances, I leave it to you to understand what Allah says in the Quran. Let's understand what is the meaning of Hajj. <coughs> hajj is from the root word Hujja. It means to have a discussion to find solutions for our problems. And if you are going for Hajj, and if you don't, get together and find solutions for our problems in Palestine, you have wasted your time. The word Arafat appears in the Quran which means to know one another. Do we know one another's problems? We don't. Right? And if we work the Quranic principles correctly, the United Nations should have been in Makkah, not in America. So my brothers and sisters, let's pay a little attention to what Allah tells us in the Qur'an. And let's follow the principle of the Qur'an, not the principle of those who are the ta'ud, 
who are misleading us all the time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the strength and guidance to do the right thing. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatam wa fil akhirati hasanatam wa kina azabannat. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, two very important announcements. One is uh, we are currently on uh, full gear when it comes to coordinating the Okurubani in the warm heart of Africa, that is Malawi. Malawi, as you know, is uh, one of the poorest countries in the world. And they have a sumptuous and delicious meal and nutritious meal once in a blue moon. So they always wait for your Kurubani every year. So please, since they are going through a turmoil right now, don't disappoint them. At only 700 rands per Kurubani, Please heed to the call of the indigent and destitute Malawians, inshallah. Our team is busy coordinating and they will be in Malawi to foresee each and every performance of your Kurubani. So please you can contact the Institute for Islamic Services at 330 Carmine Street or you can speak to Shamir or myself immediately after Salah. And the second announcement is uh, with a heavy heart, on a very sad heart, and I'm sure you are so used to a very melodious azan being given, in fact the best azan being given at this masjid. That would be no more because our Moazin, that is Kasim Chibembere, has passed on. He was brutally murdered last night through a crime that took place on military road. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant him janitor for those and surprisingly he just performed his itikaf here this uh, past Ramadan and his last words that he said, he says uh, I don't know, I remember when we were having one of the political leaders here he took a photograph with him he says please take me a photo with this guy I don't know whether I will see him again and those were his last words when he says this year i feel i've been very close and islamically inclined in my life than any other time and the man passed on last night so let's make dua for him that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive him of his shortcomings and everybody else that has passed on may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them channel for those and more importantly please let's make sure that our life is engaged in Islamic activities all the time. So immediately after the Fard, immediately after the Fard of uh, uh, our Salah, we are going to be having Salatul Janaza, which will be led by our resident Imam, inshallah. And then immediately after that, he will be laid to rest at the Lodium Cemetery. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa 
سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أيها المسلمون جاء في الحديث الصحيح إن عظم الجزاء مع عظم البلاء وإن الله إذا أحب قوما ابتلاهم فمن رضي فله الرضا ومن سخط فله السخط وإذا أحب الله تعالى قوما أصابهم بالرزايا وبالمحن والفتن والبلايا ليميز الخبيث من الطيب وليعلم الصادق من الكاذب فلا يبقى على الدين الحق إلا من صح معتقده وحسن مقصده وأمة الإسلام هي أكرم الأمم على الله تعالى ولذلك كان ابتلاؤها هو أشد ليعظم أجرها ويزداد فضلها وتعلو منزلتها وليكون أهلها هم أكثر أهل الجنة وفي الحديث الصحيح قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أمتي هذه أمة مرحومة ليس عليها عذاب في الآخرة عذابها في الدنيا الفتن والزلازل والقتل إنما هو بسبب دينها وتمسكها بكتاب ربها وسنة نبيها صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الله تعالى ولا يزالون يقاتلونكم حتى يردوكم عن دينكم إن استطاعوا وقال جل وعلا إن يثقفوكم يكونوا لكم أعداء ويبسطوا إليكم أيديهم وألسنتهم بالسوء وودوا لو تكفرون أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذنب فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون وارض اللهم عن خلفاء الراشدين أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن صائر سحابة أجمعين إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم 
في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين ودمر أعداءك أعداء الدين يا رب العالمين اللهم اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات يا رب العالمين اللهم يا قوي يا من لا يعجز شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء اللهم, فر اللهم فرج عاجلا ونصرا حاسبا للمجاهدين في فلسطين اللهم عليك باليهود الغاصبين اللهم عليك باليهود الغاصبين اللهم عليك باليهود الغاصبين اللهم انصر إخواننا المستضعفين في فلسطين اللهم انصرهم وأيدهم يا رب العالمين إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي عذكم لعلكم تذكرون واقم الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حيا على الصلاة حيا على الصلاة حيا على الفلاح حيا على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم استووا وتقربوا وتعدلوا الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين إذا زلزلت الأرض زلزالها وأخرجت الأرض أثقالها وقال الإنسان ما لها يومئذ تحدث أخبارها بأن ربك أوحى لها يومئذ يزدر الناس أشتاة ليروا أعمالهم فمن يعمل مثقال ذرة خيرا يره ومن يعمل مثقال ذرة شرا يرى الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين والتين والزيتون وطور سينين وهذا البلد الأمين لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن تقويم ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير ممنون فما يكذبك بعد بالدين 
أليس الله بأحكم الحاكمين الله سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله لا إله إلا الله الحمد لله الشريف اللهم لا تدع لنا في مقام هذا دم من الله فرته ولا دين من الله فضيته ولا مريضا من الله فضيته ولا حاجة من حاجة الدنيا والآخرة إلا قضيت يا رب الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Allah الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you.